This is John Susco from MyPeakLife.com, and these are the top 10 frequently asked questions on how to quit smoking. Question 6. Does that laser treatment work? These facts are drawn from a recent report by the Associated Press News Service. Smokers who pay hundreds of dollars to be zapped by lasers purported to help them quit are victims of fraud. An industry watchdog group is seeking a federal crackdown. Dr. Sidney Wolf is the director of Public Citizens Health Research Group. He petitioned the Food and Drug Administration to stop companies from promoting low-power laser therapy for smoking cessation. The companies do not have FDA clearance to market the lasers for that purpose, nor is there any evidence that they are safe or effective. According to Dr. Wolf, there is a prohibition on any kind of marketing or advertising for any unapproved uses of an FDA-regulated product. Wolf also said, it's just a massive fraud. FDA spokeswoman Susan Cruzan said, the FDA has cleared the so-called biostimulation lasers or laser acupuncture devices. These are approved only to help provide temporary pain relief according to the FDA website. One company, Freedom Laser Therapy Incorporated, was singled out in the petition as the most prominent of the five companies. These firms charge smokers as much as $349 for a 30-minute laser acupuncture session and a kit with vitamins, booklet, and video. FDA regulators do allow the therapy to be used in investigational clinical trials or studies. Company president Craig Nabat said, this is what Freedom Laser Therapy is carrying out at its two locations in Santa Monica, California and Royal Oak, Michigan. Nabat said his company has already charged thousands of smokers to participate in the so-called trials so far, but has not collected data on whether the smoking program successfully helped them quit smoking. He said he wants to open franchises nation. He said that he wants to open franchises nationwide. Nabat also admitted, quote, "We are not documenting exactly how many people are coming through or how successful they are." End quote. His only evidence seems to be relying on client referrals to vouch for the program's effectiveness. Dr. Norman. Edelman, Chief Medical Officer of the American Lung Association, said any institutional review board likely would find such trials unethical. Quote, early attempts at following up with all clients proved laborious, expensive, and ultimately fruitless, end quote, Nabat said. He also said when we do follow up phone calls, people don't call us back. In other words, he apparently thinks it's too much trouble to follow a rigorous scientific method. There is no evidence laser therapy works in helping smokers quit, Edelman said, and not collecting data means there never will be any evidence. Companies claim that laser therapy triggers the release of endorphins, the body's natural painkillers, that can help smokers cope with withdrawal. But reviews of medical literature turn up few reports of well-run clinical trials that examined laser stop smoking therapy. Another company, Laser Therapeutics Incorporated of Centerville, Massachusetts, has completed laser therapy trials and was preparing to seek FDA approval for their use in smoking cessation. This is from Neil Camera, a company officer. But the FDA warned Laser Therapeutics as far back as October 2004 concerning its failure to properly monitor clinical laser trials. According to both the American Lung Association and Public Citizen, the studies that have been done show, quote, no difference in success rates between patients zapped with a laser and those receiving a placebo or sham treatment, end quote. An advertisement from the law offices of Aaron M. Levine and Associates warns, Laser surgery to quit smoking is a scam. If you paid several hundred dollars to quit smoking through laser surgery, you may be entitled to get your money back. There is no scientific proof that lasers will help you stop smoking. 
This treatment has not received FDA approval because it doesn't work. The clinics that sell it do not even have the right to refer to it as a therapy. Aaron M. Levine and Associates continued, You may have believed their advertising claims that there is a medical evidence to justify this approach. You're ready to try almost anything, so you felt that paying for this laser surgery was a worthwhile investment. You gladly wrote a check to Freedom Laser Therapy, Incorporated, or the Ann Penman Laser Therapy Clinics, New Beginnings Laser Therapy, Laser Concept, the Stop Smoking Laser Center, or another company involved in this scam. If this treatment hasn't helped you quit smoking, it's not your fault. It's theirs. They took your money knowing that their approach does not work, and you and others who are scammed can make sure that this doesn't happen again. Bottom line, smokers who pay hundreds of dollars to be zapped by lasers purported to help them quit are victims of fraud. Hey, if you like this video, I've got 20 more where that came from. Just go to mypeaklife.com forward slash smoking info. That's M-Y-P-E-A-K-L-I-F-E dot com forward slash smoking info. Register and I'll send you 20 more videos. Thanks.